welcome to Man That's Cooking. In this video, we're going to show you how to make Rosemary Romano Mashed Potatoes. Oh, these are decadent, packed with flavor, perfect for the holidays. So let's get started. First, go ahead and wash and then peel four pounds of russet potatoes. So man here has got five potatoes he's going to peel, and it's roughly four pounds. And you want to make sure that they're roughly the same size when you pick them out at the grocery store, or your backyard if you're a farmer. Next, you want to cut these into about two inch cubes. So start by cutting the potato in half, and then you can cut the halves into either thirds like man did here, or halves. And you're not going to get these all the same size, but keep in mind, the smaller the cubes, the faster the cook. And you want to try to get these all roughly the same size, so that they reach the same level of doneness. Once you've created your cubes, go ahead and submerge them in water. And then we're going to add one tablespoon of kosher salt to these potatoes. Don't worry, it's not going to be salty won't even notice. Next we're gonna hand shred eight ounces of Pecorino Romano cheese. This is a salty Italian cheese made from sheep's milk. So this is very similar to Parmesan. Um, it's probably a bolder flavor and Parmesan is made from cow's milk. So if you don't like sheep's milk, you don't like sheep, grab yourself some Parmesan instead. And you might be thinking, eight ounces is a lot of cheese. Well, you're right, it is. Um, if you don't want to use all eight ounces, cut it in half. But um, we definitely recommend using all of this in this recipe. So next, we're going to finely chop or mince about three to four sprigs of fresh rosemary. You're going to want to have fresh rosemary for this recipe. Dried rosemary stuff in a uh, seasoned shaker no not good get the fresh stuff it's gonna be worth it so while you're prepping the uh, Romano cheese and the rosemary you need to be cooking the potatoes so put them on high bring the water to a boil and once it's boiling reduce the heat to medium low and maintain a simmer something like this and at about 15 minutes to 25 minutes, somewhere in that range, you want to check for tenderness. If the knife blade or a fork can go right into the uh, potatoes, they're done. Next, drain the water first into your sink. Don't dump everything at once because you're going to get that icky stuff from your sink backwashing on your potatoes. You don't want to do that. And we're giving you a free steam bath here, so that'll open your facial pores. And next, we're going to cook four ounces of diced pancetta. And pancetta is Italian bacon that is cured with salt and spices, but it's not smoked. And if you can't find that, see if you can find lardones, which are very similar. And if you can't find that, uh, just use about five slices of bacon, and you should be fine. All of those come from the pork belly, so you'll have similar results, or you could just skip the meat part altogether. So cook the pancetta for about roughly 10 minutes until they get browned. Use a slotted spoon to remove them and try to get as much grease off as possible. And just put them on paper towels to absorb the rest of the grease. Next, we're going to fast melt one stick of unsalted butter. And once it starts to melt, just reduce the heat from medium down to low. You don't want to brown the butter. Then we're going to add a half cup of heavy whipping cream and one cup of sour cream. Keep the burner on low, use a whisk, and mix everything together really well, just like this. Once you have everything mixed together, go ahead and add in the rosemary and mix again. Alright, so by now your potatoes should have drip dried and they shouldn't be wet anymore. 
So it's time to go ahead and add them back into the cooking pot. And the burner is still on low. We want to keep these potatoes warm as we're adding the other ingredients and mixing it together. Next, add in the pancetta and start mashing. So go ahead and mash for a couple minutes and get everything well incorporated. If you have one of these glass uh, oven stove tops, you might want to dial back the mashing pressure just in case, you know, some of these stove tops will shatter. Man likes to live on the edge though. And you can see it starting to come together now. It's starting to look pretty good. Once you get it to roughly around this stage here, then it's time to add in all of the grated Romano cheese. So go ahead and pour in all of the cheese. That's, that's a lot of cheese. Oh yeah, but this is very flavorful. The cheese and the pancetta are both salty, so you may not need to add any salt to this, but once everything's mixed together at the end, give it a taste and see if you want to add any salt or pepper. Also, you may want to add extra cream if it seems a little dry, which this one is a little bit dry here. We're going to add a little bit more of uh, the whipping cream and the sour cream. And that's going to give it a little bit more moisture and fluff it up a little bit more. There we go. Now it's getting nice and light and fluffy like a heavenly cloud. These are amazing mashed potatoes. You could put in half the cheese if you're worried about that and then decide to add the other half after you mix it together and taste test it. Give it a shot with all the cheese though. You're going to love it. Take a look at that light fluffy goodness. Oh, that is packed with flavor. You got the rosemary in there, the pancetta. Oh, and that Romano is just delicious. This is good stuff, people. Hope you like this recipe. Hope you give it a try at home. If you do, let us know in the comments section how it turned out. Click like, click subscribe to get notified of future recipes. Check us out at manthatscooking.com. We've got a lot more recipes waiting for you there. We're also on Facebook and we're on Muskrats X.